London. This is Q Live. Britain, get ready to play. Good afternoon and welcome to Q Live. I'm Marina Berry, it's 1 p.m. and today is Bjork's birthday. Right now, it's oh so quiet, but you could be violently happy if you win 500 pounds. Now, you know the deal. I'm gonna ask you 12 questions. They're easy to hard. Now, you have 10 seconds to tap each answer. If you get all 12 right, then you'll win or split the cash. Now, it's time to say hello to today's Cupa fan. It's the lovely Liz Thorpe. There she is. Now she's playing Q Live, and as you can see, she's keeping her answers very close to her chest. Now, if you'd like to be tomorrow's Keeper fan, tweet us a picture of yourself playing Q Live, and well, we'll do the rest for you. But right now, it's time for the game that stops the nation. It might be your day. Get ready to play. Are you ready to win 500 pounds? 7,000 of you playing today. So here's Q1. Complete the saying, a bird in the hand is worth two in the what? Grass, bush or forest? Now, uh, my favorite phrases, I've got quite a few of them. One of them is, uh, talk to the hand because the face ain't listening. And sugar my nizzle and you're fired. Yeah, obviously, Alan Sugar. Aha, Jack and Akinori, back of the net, cash back. All of those, obviously, classic sayings. The answer is? Bush, 6,000 of you still in the game. Here's Q2. Which of the following is not a book series written by Enid Blyton? Famous Five, Super Six or Secret Seven? My favourite books growing up, yeah, were the Goosebumps books. I don't know if you've ever like, read them. They had like, the Haunted Mask, Night in Terror Tower, and they made like a TV series of it as well. So good, I loved it. I've still got all the books at home. The answer is Super Six. 5,300 of you still in the game. Here's Q3. Which of these people is not a contestant on this year's I'm a Celebrity? Harry Judd, James McBain, or Fleur East? It looks like Noel is going in tonight. But you know what, if I was in I'm a Celebrity, I mean, obviously I'm not a celebrity, but if I was and I was going in the jungle, I would actually not mind the rats or the frogs. Why is everyone freaking out about rats and frogs? They're actually really cute creatures. Spiders that I have a problem with though. Uh, Harry Judd is the answer, 4,500 of you still in the game. Now, have you got friends? I hope you have. If so, why not invite them to Q Live? You'll get a free live each time someone signs up using your Q username. So, invite someone you know straight after the show. Q4. Which of these UK towns or cities does not have a Tate Gallery? London, Belfast, St Ives. Now, when I was at school, when I was doing my GCSEs, I had to choose between three of my favourite subjects, and I couldn't do all three, couldn't do two, I had to do one, music, drama or art. I ended up putting them all written down on little little folded bits of paper in a hat and just picking one out. I ended up doing drama in the end. True story. Belfast is the answer. We've got how many? 2,000 left in the game. Q5. The football club Heart of Midlothian is based in which city? Aberdeen, Glasgow or Edinburgh? All these places are in Scotland. My favourite things about Scotland are bagpipes, shortbread, Loch Ness Monster, and the Crankies. Although I, I don't understand how you can eat haggis. I just, I just, I just, I've never actually eaten it, but I just, I can't, I just can't do it. Edinburgh is the answer we were looking for, and 1,800 of you got that right. Now, next up, we have a game of At The QVs. We've zoomed in on a famous film poster, so take a look at your screen as your question is about to appear. Q6. What film is this a poster for? Cloverfield, Godzilla, or 2012? Now, one of these films is about a huge, terrifying monster. No, it's not Charlie Baker. Uh, one of these is about dinosaurs, and the other is about the end of the world. These sound like a laugh a minute, these films, don't they? Uh, the answer is actually a film that I really didn't like. Cloverfield. 800 of you knew that. Honestly, I'd actually rather watch Paint Dry than watch that film again. Let's zoom out and reveal the, fil the actual full film poster. There it is. There you go. Now, if you love winning money with crazy people, Pandora will be back tonight at eight with a thousand pounds up for grabs. But right now, there are 500 reasons to play. Q7. 
Which of these diseases is generally considered the first to be vaccinated against? Smallpox, tuberculosis, or rubella? Nice question. <laughs> Cheery. Uh, do you remember getting injections as a kid? I hate needles. I remember my BCG. You can actually still see it on my arm. Um, but anyway, every time the kids would explain when they'd come out, the needle would get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger when people would explain it. Terrible. The answer is smallpox. I hate times of you still in the game. Here's Q8. How old was Neil Armstrong when he walked on the moon? 28, 33, or 38? Did he actually walk on the moon, though? Because that is a bit of a kind of, you know, conspiracy theory, isn't it? Did it happen? Didn't it happen? And tweet us. Well, what do, you, what do you think? Tweet us at QLive. Did he actually walk on the moon? If he did, he was 38 when he did it. <laughs> 500 of you still in the game. Now, next up is a picture question. So take a look at your screen because your question is about to pop up. Q9. Who is playing Macbeth in this photo? Leonard Nimoy, Gordon Brown, or Prince Charles? To be or not to be? That is the question. Well, actually, that's Hamlet, so it's not actually uh, that play at all. Um, I studied Shakespeare at A-level, and I did Romeo and Juliet, Hamlet. I went to see Hamlet, and the, one of the actors had a nosebleed on the, uh, on the stage, and it was so off-putting. He carried on, obviously. True professional. Blood everywhere. Uh, <laughs> another true story. Prince Charles is the answer. Now, 90 of you knew that. You know what that was? That wasn't very hard. That was very hard. Yeah. Do you know what, though? I never realised that, that Prince Charles did any acting, but apparently in the 60s, he did quite a few plays. Who knew? You learn something every day here at QLive. Q10. Which of these singers was the first to have an album reach the top 40 of the UK albums chart? Taylor Swift, Adele or Lady Gaga? Now, I do um, a few gigs, singing gigs, and do you know what? The song that always goes down so well and gets people on the dance floor is that Taylor Swift song, Shake It Off. People just love it. It's, it's quite old, isn't it? But people still love it. The answer is, though, Adele. 82 of you were in the game. And this is the penultimate question, Q11. Which of these films did not win the Oscar for Best Picture? Terms of Endearment, My Left Foot, or Ordinary People? I oh, wish you could win an Oscar for hosting a quiz app. How can I get them to change the rules? Think, 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 think. How can I get them to change the rules? Winning an Oscar for best host on a quiz app. Now, that would be a dream, wouldn't it? Uh, the answer is <laughs> my left foot. 18 of you have made it to the final question. You have not done very well. You've done very well. It's time for this. For 500 pounds, which of these horses has not won the Cheltenham Gold Cup? Bala Briggs, Coney Green, Bob's Worth. Now, this is for £500. How are you on your old GG knowledge? Do you like your horses? I actually did a gallop on a horse a few months ago. That was before it trod on my foot and almost fractured my bones. Um, but I was quite proud of myself. The answer is Bala Briggs. Nine of you. Wow! Nine of you. I tell you, let's read some of your names out, shall we, if I can see the screen. Uh, Rossini, Richard, we've got uh, Sir Beigel, Sally Cruz, Hosa Bear, Cubs, uh, Geeky, Jay Will, and we've also got Ben Tory. I look, there's no way I've actually read those out correctly, but I'm sure you can work it out. <laughs> you are. Anyway, you'll be sharing £500. Uh, I'm not very good uh, at maths, so I won't be working out how much that is each. Uh, Pandora, we adore her. Uh, we'll be back tonight at eight. She'll be giving away £1,000. Until then, I've been Marina. And you've been extraordinary. I'm off for lunch. I want to be healthy today because I had a green tea to start the day off with. So today I'm just going to have the Big Mac without the chips. Obviously, it's got the lettuce in it and all that. So one of my five a day. Winning. Bye.